is the biggest red wave I've seen since Ronald Reagan's 49 state victory. There were appeals to racism in this campaign, and there is racial bias in this country, and there is sexism in this country. I can't help but wonder if the American people have given up on democracy. I hear what you're saying, and I, I, I do see it differently because I'm thinking about the people who are not a part of anybody's elite who are hurting tonight. If she were a six foot four white man from from Arkansas or from, you know, Florida, do you think she would be losing by that much? I think that we've got to be honest. Among Hispanic men and black men, there's a lot of misogyny. Uh, there are African-American women who know a little bit about being talked down to and know a little bit about having their economic dreams crushed, who try to dream a big dream over the past couple of months. It's not enough to get enough white women to vote um, for Vice President Harris, a fellow woman. This will be the second opportunity that white women in this country have to change the way that they interact with the patriarch. There's misogyny, but it's not just misogyny from white men. Mm -hmm. It's misogyny from Hispanic men. Right. It's misogyny from black men. And tonight they're trading in a lot of hope for a lot of hurt. And they were hoping that maybe this time, this time, one of their own could be seen as worthy. Things we've all been talking about who do not want a woman leading them might be race issues with Hispanics. They don't want a black woman as president of the United States. To all the, the pollsters, the ele election pollsters, um, blow me. I don't ever want to from you again, ever. People who said that he was a Hitler lover weren't Democrats, they were Republicans. People who said that he was a fascist weren't Democrats, they were Republicans who worked for him. You gotta be kidding.